So IMS Gives Back is a, is a great community outreach. It's a great program and that I think for years to come is going to be a staple in the community of Sacramento. I think the main purpose of today is exactly what the slogan means, IMS Gives Back. Uh, the community uh, could use a little pick-me-up. Let's, let's touch a family physically with our hands. What can we do physically with all the abilities we have? So the family was identified about three weeks uh, prior to this date. And so we had literally three weeks of knowing that we were going to be out here. We hadn't even walked the site or even knew what we were going to do until about two weeks ago where I was able to schedule a time with the homeowner, brought all the business unit managers out here. We all walked it. It was really two weeks of planning and a lot of work, a lot of effort in order to accomplish what we did. Well, we're doing a, um, a home makeover for an underprivileged family. Today is day one of a, probably a three-day phase of IMS Gives Back. Uh, today we're going to be doing, obviously, the landscaping portion. Today we're going to be ripping out a lot of plant material. We're getting rid of all the debris and trash that the, uh, the homeowner does not want anymore. Uh, we're going to be putting in new irrigation, new plant material, and also we're doing roofing. Uh, the roofers are going to be here doing their roofing part. We have Arborwell coming in to trim down this tree and remove uh, a lot of foliage in the back. That is phase one. So a uh, huge volunteer effort tomorrow to uh, do the house itself. Initially, right off the bat, first thing in the morning, we had about 30 volunteers here. And for uh, a home of this size, it's, uh, that's a lot of support. That's a lot of people in tight quarters. Crews trickling in and out through the day. We probably peaked at about 50 volunteers total for the day. Even up until about 9 p.m. in the evening yesterday, uh, we had 15 to 20 um, of our custodial team out here doing detailed cleaning and final preparations for the family. IMS is uh, renovating the kitchen and doing a lot of painting and the, the roofing as well. They're going to be gutting the kitchen and uh, installing new cabinets and dishwasher. I think they're getting another washing machine, dryer, refrigerator, and it's all been donated. To me, to be a part of this is uh, something I've never been a part of, and it's truly an honor to actually come here and help out a family that is uh, you know, struggling or has been in need for a long time. Well, the first thing I seen was her. She pulled up and she started to slow down just a little bit and you could see the reaction through the windshield. It, she was just shocked and I know it was the white picket fence that she, she seen initially and that was something that she had jokingly asked for and because she's always wanted one of those. But uh, walking into the house, I mean, I couldn't count on my hands the number of times I heard her say, oh my gosh, and, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable, and look at all this. And so she was, she was shocked. And every turn, every corner, every hall she went down, it was just something amazing and new to her. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> oh, you have a new Oh, pretty. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! There's more out there than what meets the eye. Like there's people out there that are actually willing to help and they came out and they actually showed it. And so now I've actually seen it and I would tell them thank you. And like bless their souls for everything they've done. I, I mean I didn't expect hardly anything so it's like they gave me a whole new house. And for nothing, I mean, I think it's a big company. And um, 
they don't have to do this. And uh, they're, it's just an amazing company. They do everything. They did everything, I mean. I just, I still kind of in shock, so I just, um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everything they've done. And I really don't know if I could put it into words.